this is what I left you with in the previous video. Did you try finding out the surface area of this solid? What does this shape look like? It looks like a rocket, yes. It is obtained by combining a cone and a cylinder. Cone on top of a cylinder to be precise. Now let's try to find its surface area. First, you need to ask yourself a simple question. What all can you see here? In this shape, we are able to see the curved surface of the cone, the curved surface of the cylinder, one of the bases of the cylinder, and then this region formed by two concentric circles. Before we begin working out the area, let us give the parameters a name. Let capital R be radius of the cone and let L be the slant height. Let lowercase r be radius of the cylinder and let h be its height. Let us look at the most challenging part first. We try to find the area of this region formed between concentric circles. Let us shade this region. Now to find this area directly may be a little difficult. So let's look the view from this angle where the base of the cone is facing us. Now can you find its area? It's easy. We know that area of base of cone is pi capital R squared and the area of base of cylinder is pi lowercase r squared. And the area of this shaded region will be the difference in these two areas. It will be the area of the base of the cone minus the area of the base of the cylinder. That will equal pi r squared minus pi r squared. That's the area of the shaded region between the two circles. We also know that curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h and the area of its base is pi r squared. And what is the curved surface area of the cone? It will be pi r l. So the total surface area of the solid will be the sum of these areas. It will be pi r l plus 2 pi r h plus pi r squared plus pi r squared minus pi r squared. Guess what? We just derived the formula of the surface area for this solid. In the next video, we will try to solve a few more examples on surface areas of such solids.